After the Harkin debacle, the friends of Bush's dad got him a seat on another board of a company owned by the Carlyle Group. We wanted to look at which companies um, actually gained from September 11. It turned up this company, Carlyle Group. The Carlyle Group is a multinational conglomerate that invests in heavily government regulated industries like telecommunications, healthcare, and particularly defense. Both George W. Bush and George H. W. Bush worked for the Carlyle Group, uh, the same company that counted the Bin Laden family among its investors. Carlyle Group was holding its annual investor conference on the morning of September 11 in the Ritz-Carlton Hotel in Washington, D.C. At that meeting uh, were all of the Carlisle regulars. James Baker, likely John Major, definitely George H.W. Bush, though he left the morning of September 11th. Shafiq bin Laden, who is Osama bin Laden's half-brother, um, and was in town to look after his family's investments in the Carlisle Group. Um, all of them together in one room watching as the um, the planes hit the towers and then in fact the Bin Laden family was invested in one of their defense funds which ironically meant that um, as the United States started increasing its defense spending um, the Bin Laden family stood to gain from those investments uh, through the Carlisle Group. Our Commander-in-Chief, yeah. President yeah. George W. Bush. With all the weapons companies it owned, the Carlyle Group was, in essence, the 11th largest defense contractor in the United States. Thanks a lot. It owned United Defense, makers of the Bradley Armored Fighting Vehicle. September 11th guaranteed that United Defense was going to have a very good year. Just six weeks after 9-11, Carlyle filed to take United Defense public, and in December, made a one-day profit of $237 million. But sadly, with so much attention focused on the Bin Laden family being important Carlisle investors, the Bin Ladens eventually had to withdraw. Bush's dad, though, stayed on as senior advisor to Carlisle's Asia board for another two years. As unseemly as it seemed, 